Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your drawing for isometrics. A couple things you'll need to do in the MetQ configuration, ribbon, you'll need to click on scale, make sure this is set to dim scale, which it is. Uh, your configuration should be, the unit should be at uh, English or whatever you need there. Also, the dim scale factor needs to be set. So we're going to, today we're going to be working in half inch, which is uh, scale factor for that is 24. So dim scale, and it's already set to 24. And this number correlates to how big the annotation or how small the annotation is going to be in your drawing. So it's a very important setup. We click on the start button and where it says use a template we browse to the uh, where the plotting uh, drawing template was downloaded which you can find underneath this video and here we have three drawing sizes We're going to be working in the 24 by 36 sheet I'm going to type uh, model space to activate the model space viewport. And for our zoom into model space, we need to set this to 1 over 24, which is our scale factor, XP. Now if I draw a rectangle in this viewport, it's going to give us our drawing area. Toggle back into model space. So this is our drawing area. Um, and let's go into the isometric utility. Let's make sure that the nodes, I've turned this up to 0.03. These were at 0.01, so I've made those bigger. For our bomb options, I've checked this unique item for each pipe. I also have this confirm length turned on. If this isn't turned on, it won't ask you for the pipe length. Uh, so I recommend turning this on if you want those pipe lengths to show up because um, it's going to ask you for the pipe lengths as you input them. And an isometric drawing is generally a sketch. So those pipe lengths are going to be a lot shorter than the, the real pipe lengths. Let's start off in the left grid, and then we're gonna choose top grid as we go through the drawing. Well, let me show you how this works. Again, this is kind of a sketch, so um, this can be any length. You know, we're just sketching this in. Uh, it's gonna ask us for the length though, which you'll see here in a sec. I'm going to go up. Now as I go up on my third point, it's asking me for the pipe length, as you can see. Length of pipe. So let's just put in two feet. Continue on. Let's put in uh, two feet for that one. And then we're just going to enter. Let's put in uh, two feet for this. Now Let's change views. I'm going to get rid of this pipe here. And go back in and choose the top view. Let's start from the fitting again. And we'll come down this way, this way. Put in, let's say, four feet for that length there, and three feet for that one, and let's press enter for the last piece there. So let's run a bill of material on this. So let's go back into the ISO, choose bill of materials. And here I have the uh, table build set to down, 
something else I wanted to show you real quick. And then in my bomb options, I have itemize each pipe here clicked on. So let's just do that. Let's just start the bill of materials now. And I'm going to choose create bomb. And it's asking me for the starting point of the leader. This isn't my leader quite yet. So the starting point, midpoint here, come up here in this polar angle. And then I'm going to click enter. I'm going to do that for each section of pipe. Now it's labeling the uh, the elbows. After it's done with the bubbling, it's going to ask me for an insertion point on my table. I'm going to go ahead and pan down here. And I'm going to exit out. And as you can see, it's tabulated all the links that I've um, established there in my drawing. Well, this table is just a little bit big, so I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. I'm going to do this by clicking this and then pressing my spacebar and scaling it down 0.75. And then I'm going to move, press move and then move it down here. Now, if I wanted to move this a little bit, I could do so. Just select it and move it down. Now, when I go back into paper space, I can see this here. Uh, it's not showing up quite clearly because of the colors of the um, of everything. But let me show you real quick how to print this up. So, if we go plot. And we set this to monochrome up here. That's all going to show black. Just like this. So hopefully this video helps. And uh, feel free to email me or call me if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.